One of the most fundamental things to understand about chemistry is the nature of atoms. Uh, atoms come in all different sizes, and they can make a different number of molecular bonds, covalent bonds, ranging anywhere from one to four. Uh, I'm going to use an analogy of Legos just to help uh, wrap our minds around it, and then we'll get to the molecules. So carbon can make four bo bonds, but it's a relatively small molecule. So think of it like a Lego with four little knobs to make bonds with it. Hydrogen's an even smaller molecule, and it can only make one bond. So it could bond, we can put four hydrogens onto a carbon, and if we did that, we'd call it methane. That's the name of that molecule. Bromine is a much, much larger molecule, and even though it can only make one bond, it's like this massive brick with just one little thing to make a bond with. So when we're looking at molecules, we can look at the amount of a uh, substance we have in two ways. We can look at it based on weight mass, really, in grams. Um, and we can look at it in how many molecules I have. And that's an important distinction. So for instance, if I have one carbon, it's much, much heavier. We have much more mass than if we have one hydrogen. And if I have one bromine, it's way, way, way more than those other two. So molecules are different sizes. Now we're going to stop looking at Legos and we're going to use little circle spheres, if you will, to um, represent our molecules. That's maybe the best way to represent what a molecule really looks like. So again, it's important to make a distinguish between moles, which is how many molecules I have, versus grams, which is just how much mass or how much stuff do I actually have. And a mole is like 2.03 times 10 to the 26. I, don't, I forget. I think that's it. But it's this massive, massive number. But it's not really that important. Um, just as long as you know it's a measure of a count of molecules rather than a, a mass of how many molecules. It's how many molecules I have. Okay. And so if we want to move back and forth between how many molecules I have versus how much mass, how much stuff do I have, we need a conversion factor. And to convert them, we use molecular weight. Molecular weight, you can look them up on tables. They're often provided for you in problems. It's always given in grams per mole. So if I have a amount of a molecule in moles, I would times it by its molecular weight to figure out how much mass I have. If you give me mass, if I have how many grams, I would just divide it by the molecular weight to figure out um, how many moles I have. Okay, so remember that that's key. Going from moles to grams, you times it by the molecular weight. Going from grams to moles, you would divide it by the molecular weight. Now you'll often see molecules um, drawn in this pattern where a letter represents each atom in the molecule and the lines represent bonds. So here's what benzene looks like, and if you add up the mass of each of these different atoms in benzene, and then times it by how many atoms, there, how many molecules there are in a mole, you would get 78.11 grams per mole. But notice if we just swap out one of those hydrogens for a bromine, suddenly we have basically doubled our um, grams per mole. That's because bromine is about the same mass all by itself as all of these carbons and hydrogens are together. So that's key and critical. And so I think often when you're looking at just these letters, it's a little misleading. It would really be something like this. This would be benzene with the red circles representing carbon and the blue circles representing hydrogen. And then this would be a, a bromine molecule made up of two bromine atoms. Notice that, that these bromines are much, much larger. Uh, than the individual components of the benzene. So even though after this reaction takes place, I have the same number of, um, of these molecules with a bromine attached as I do as the original benzene, this is going to weigh much, much, much more. So moles would be the same, but their masses would be very different just because of this massive size of the bromine molecule. Okay, So that's background. Let's look at the problem. So if we start with 7.5 grams of benzene. And then we're gonna, the, we have as much bromine as we need, right? So we have as much bromine excess, we use up as much of that. And we're just going to make, we're going to turn basically all of these into these, okay? So the question 
asks, if I did that, how much of this stuff, the um, C6H5Br, right, the benzene with a little bromine molecule replacing the hydrogen, how much of it would I end up with, okay? So to do that, we're going to go from grams to moles for the benzene. Now, you can look this up, but the um, grams per mole, we, well, we've given it up here, right? You can look that up at 78.11. So I would divide 7.5 by 78.11 to figure out how many moles of this I am starting with. And if you do that, you get an answer of 0 0.096 moles. So that many grams of benzene is equal to 0 0.096. And again, to do that, all I did was divide by 78.11. So that's how many moles of benzene I have. So notice in the reaction, one of these turns into one of those. So I'd end up with the exact same number of these. I'd end up with 0 0.096. But because um, this weighs more, if I wanted to figure out how much, it, how what the mass of this was, so if the answer to the problem is in moles, that's the answer. But if you, the answer is in grams, you need to now convert this into grams. And so to do that, I would times it by this new larger molecular weight for the molecule with a bromine attached. And so when I do that, even though I still have 0 0.096 moles, it's going to equal a much higher number. We're going to have 15.07 um, grams of this new molecule. That I don't. There's probably a name for it, but whatever benzene with the um, bromine molecule attached to it is. Okay, so that's the answer to part eight. Um, if you used up all of these and turned them into those, you would end up with that many moles. Again, if they want the answer in grams, it would be 15.07 grams. Okay, Part B says there's a competing reaction going on where some of these benzene reactions get two bromines added onto them instead of one, and they give you an amount. They say that in total, 1.25 grams of this secondary product are created. And so we have to look up the mass of that secondary product. And as you might expect, because bromine is such a big molecule, um, the mass of that secondary product when you look it up, and this is stuff that's either provided for you or you have to look it up on a table, um, but the mass of that new product is, oh, I thought I had it written down, I guess I don't. Well, let's look it up. Okay, so it's C6H4Br2 molecular weight. Okay, so it's 235.9 grams per mole. So that side product makes that much. But the mass is really not important um, unless because you are given the starting amount in, in a mass, you would need to do that. So we take um, the 1.25 grams. I'm going to do it up here. that we made, you know, kind of accidentally, right? That's the competing reaction. We divide it by the molecular weight, which was 235.9 grams, okay? And what we end up with is we, we had 0 0.0053 um, moles of the secondary product made, okay? Now, we were originally going to make this much of the primary product, but this much of it, and again, we're comparing amounts to amounts. You don't want to do grams because grams of one molecule you can't compare directly to another one. But once we convert them to moles, because that's, that's an amount of molecules, we can compare them directly. So we accidentally made 0 0.0053 moles of this other product, and so all we have to do is subtract those two numbers. So 0 0.96 is what we would have made, but accidentally we uh, made 0 0.0053. And so instead we end up with um, a final product of, of the benzene with the one bromine attached. The final amount that we made was 0 point, 0 0.0907. Oops, 907. So we made this much of the product when originally we were going to make that much. And again, uh, if the answer to the problem is in moles, for how because the, the part B asks uh, how much of this first thing did I make 
uh, given that I took away some of it with that secondary reaction. That's the answer in moles. If you want that in grams, all you have to do is times it by the original molecular weight of this first molecule, which is 157.02, and you end up with, um, I think, well, let's do it. Let me open it up here. So, oh, maybe the question, let me look at the question again. I think it's asking how much we lost, not how much we made. Yeah, how much of it was not converted. So then all we have to do is take this original 0 0.0053, right, which was accidentally, that many moles were accidentally converted to the other product, and then times that by grams per mole. If you want the answer in moles, that's the answer. If you want the answer in grams, all you have to do is times it by the molecular weight, and you end up with zero, let's put it right here, zero, 0.414 grams of um, this product were not made because they were made into the heavier product. Okay, hope that helps.